your weekly love reading, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Guys, so as with almost every reading that I do, I will answer a yes or no question for you at the end of this reading. So throughout the reading, try to think of a question that you might have for me so that I can answer that for you at the end. It'll be the very last thing that I do. All right, guys, so there is an entire month of July reading posted for you. There is also a general reading that focuses on matters that aren't about your love life. All right, so check those out as well. Okay, guys, here we go. So you are coming into this week in this temperance energy, amazing place to be, guys. And this is actually really similar, I think, if I'm if I'm remembering yours right, your, your entire month of July reading. This looks a lot like it. Um, anyway, you're coming in in this temperance energy, maybe of Sagittarius in your chart, whatever, but this is the energy that you're in. So it's very balanced. It's very, you know, inner world, outer world, or in harmony. You're good. You've grown. Like, this is a really grown up alchemical type of energy. It's like you've turned whatever you've gone in through in your life into a positive. Okay. Um, your recent past, you have the Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. So this could be someone that you're dealing with or were in your recent past, or this could be you just really feeling yourself. Actually, I think this is similar to Sagittarius reading, so maybe you're dealing with one of them. You might want to check theirs out if you are, because you've got kind of the same energy here, just different placements. Um, anyway... If this is another person, my dog's like shaking off in the background. I'm sorry if it was loud and annoying. <laughs> anyway, this is a really attractive person, really excitable, passionate. They really go after what it is that they want, life of the party energy. You're present, you've got the seven of wands, Leo. So currently you're feeling the need to defend yourself for some reason, or somebody is feeling that way towards you. It's really stand your ground, protective type of energy. What is this seven of wands for Gemini? Oh, you know what I think your July reading was? I think you had like a jealous female in your midst. So maybe this is this is why the defensive energy. What is the Seven of Wands for Gemini? The King of Pentacles reversed. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is an unstable, non-committal type of person that you might be dealing with. And you might need to just like stand your ground when it comes to this kind of person. It can be breakup energy. But if it is, you're good. Let's get another one. The Emperor reversed. Okay. Aries energy. But this is like Aries, doesn't have to be an Aries, but either way, it's like if you take like Aries behavior when they're not evolved, when they're not in a good place, it would be this energy. Um, demanding, controlling, strict. It's like whatever I say goes, and that's just the way that it is. It can be abusive energy, guys. Um, but I think this is why you're feeling like defensive, really standing your ground against somebody that might be like an ex-husband, ex-wife, ex um, that is just super controlling, you know. Um, it's like the kind of person where they're like... Um, <laughs> I'm going to control everything that you do. I'm going to demand that you do this. But I myself am a non-committal piece of shit. And I'm not going to be loyal to you. But you have to be this way for me. It's that kind of person. I think that you're really just like standing up to this kind of person. All right. In your immediate future, though, you've got the Ten of Coins of Virgo energy. So there is a commitment here in the future. If you're not in one, the energy is there. And this this is a fully functional, healthy connection all right what is this ten of coins for a gemini in the future the three of cups reversed all right so there's something here in the future where you have either a whole commitment or the potential for one but i don't think that your friends and family are gonna like this person i think they're gonna just like for some reason they're gonna have a problem with it it doesn't matter it's your life but that's just what I see. Let's get another one here. The Six of Wands. Okay, Leo again. Um, this is victory, all right? So it could be here that there was a, a third-party situation and somebody got cut off 
which kind of opened the door for this new commitment with somebody else here because somebody feels like they won. Somebody feels like they won a battle here in your future, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. It's really confident, um, victorious energy. All right, in your potential obstacle, you have the Hermit Virgo energy. So this is either gonna be, as an obstacle, it's, it's kind of like you are closing yourself off, you're hiding yourself, all right? Or you're not really going within like you need to. There's something that you, you need to check in with yourself about here. Let's see. Or you just, you're, you're too isolated, you're not letting people in. This is a really guarded energy. I mean, with these energies with it, it's understandable, but if you're closed off the whole way, completely isolated, you're not gonna meet that person that is gonna be healthy for you, right? What's this hermit? The queen of pentacles. Okay, somebody might be hiding a, a husband or wife. Um, all right, so this can be like wife energy, right? So somebody might be like hiding the fact that they are in a commitment, maybe hiding the fact that they're in a commitment with you. Um, otherwise, it's just if you isolate yourself, you're never going to get to that committed place that you obviously want or you wouldn't be concerned with your love life, right? All right, your advice here, guys, is the moon, Pisces energy. So with this being your advice, understand that all hasn't been revealed yet. There are still things that you don't know about this situation. Um, all has not been revealed. That doesn't mean that it's bad. There's just some things that, that you just don't know about it yet. Let's see, what is this moon energy? Maybe you need to keep some things hidden. Maybe you just need to keep some things to yourself right now. The King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. This is about hidden feelings. Somebody has some kind of hidden feelings here, hidden emotion. It may be that you need to keep your emotions to yourself for now until whatever the situation is here resolves. Or somebody has some feelings for you that they have not yet revealed. Okay. All right, guys, let's get your yes or no. Are you ready? Yes or no for my Gemini friends? Yes or no for my Gemini friends? Yes or no? Yes or no, guys? That is a no with the Knight of Swords reversed. I hope you guys wanted it to be. You guys take care. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I will talk to you in another day or two. Sorry this is all shaky.